for joining A Night at Home. Again, this is Decatur, Georgia. This is a studio that's about 640 square feet. I pay about 1600, a little over 1600, which includes the rent, pest control, laundry, front load laundry, and a delivery service and some other fees that they tack on. But let's get into it. So to the right, we have some art here on the wall. You'll see that throughout the apartment. I'm a big fan of art. This was done by my niece Myla in 2020. Here's the mask, it was COVID during that time. Uh, also, if we open these doors here, we have the laundry room, which comes with front load washer and dryer. Uh, I added the extra storage here. This is a shelf I got from Ace Hardware just to create more storage for cleaning supplies, laundry, tools, anything uh, that has to do with work. Um, Okay, if we go, go a little bit further into the space to the left here, we have the mud room. This is where I actually keep like my bags as far as things that I'm needing when I'm walking out the door, uh, backpack keys, uh, guests can put their shoes there, and any other items that I need storage for as well. And if we come a little bit closer here to the right, we have the bathroom. Uh, this is something I decided to keep simple and clean. I'm a huge fan of like hotel bathrooms, so I went with a clean, clean design look. Um, hence the white shower curtains. Um, I'm a huge fan of the tub just because it's very, very spacious. I love to take bubble baths and really get in a relaxing mood. So you have the wide space tub, a little cubby for all your essential items while bathing or showering. And we have here this caddy I, um, is by Simple Human, very, very sturdy, as well as my garbage can, which is a stainless steel garbage can by Simple Human. And we have a little decor on the wall. This is probably the only piece, one of the only pieces you'll see that is not by a local artist or something that I did myself. I think this was from Target. My sister got this for me or gave it to me. Uh, I also have a little green uh, greenery here just to give it a little pop of color. Uh, again, this is more of a clean space. Just went with the white and cream colors just to keep it simple. And next we're going to go over into the bedroom. Follow me here. So this is a bedroom. Uh, this is a small space, but I was able to fit a queen size bed here. Uh, the bed is from Calsary. It is a platform bed lined with wood and has the fabric headboard. Very, very sturdy bed, so I'll make sure to leave that. Uh, you have also uh, above, what makes this a studio is because there's not a actual window here, but what we do have is a opening here in the wall, which is more for a uh, fire hazardous situation, so uh, that is why it's a studio, because other than that, it does have a layout of a one bedroom due to the hallway and the separation of the bedroom. Uh, we also have some shelving here for all of my books that I plan to read. Uh, more art here on the wall. This is a print my sister gave me as apartment welcoming. Uh, full of beautiful brown faces and features. I really love this because it goes along with the neutral color scheme that I have going here. Uh, what we have here is my nightstand. Keep a little warm, warm industrial light. I'm really into the candlelight feel. Uh, I have here a diffuser that I use for aromatherapy just to create a relaxing mood. This is waterless, so it's pure oils that is burning, which gives you a true, like that aromatherapy feel. Here, look over here to your left. Uh, you have this photograph right on the wall by Benny Rose. This is a artist I found on, a photographer I found on Instagram. I don't think he's on there anymore, but if I can find him, I would definitely link that. And if we come over here, we have the closet. Uh, I also utilize this for storage. Uh, I try to keep clothes that I'm not using stored away, just create more space. Um, we have like a shoe storage rack or boxes here that I purchased off Amazon. This comes in handy. Um, lots of shelves and a drawer. I don't have a dresser, so I really utilize this space for just about anything that I could. All right guys, so that was the bedroom. So let's take a look at the rest of the space. Here we have the hallway. Again, it gives that separation, which gives a one bedroom feel. And you have here two large scale paintings on the wall done by me. 
This is actually the first thing people notice when I open the door is the paintings on the wall uh, because it's their large scale painting. Uh, these are paintings I've done in 2016, the last time I actually painted and the first time I painted something as large as this. Uh, so this definitely sets the tone of my apartment, the color, the feel of it being a space full of, full of art. This is a portrait, very intimate portrait, a little bit of nudity here, but I really leaned into the browns and the cream colors and the whites just to give that neutral color feel. And what you have here is James Baldwin. I'm a huge fan of his work. I thought he was a man before his time, and this is actually what I titled this painting. Uh, if you enjoy debates, check out his debates on YouTube. I really like his thinking, so usually when I'm painting something, it's of people that inspire me or just because I like something that I have in my head. So that's uh, the hallway, just focused on the paintings here, and everything else is pretty simple, and we lead into the living space from there. All right guys, so we are now in the living space. Uh, this area is where all the entertainment happens, the whole space. Uh, again, this is a studio, so it's an open concept space. Right here is my workstation. This is where I try to be very, very focused. I create a relaxing feel over here uh, with the humidifier uh, by Raydrop just to get that clean air going. And I also have more art here. This is by Tim Lee. I got this print out at a festival here in Georgia. And it's called Blue Nights. I really enjoy the dark midnight colors and the curves of this. Do need a frame for it, but as of now, it sits here on my desk. And it's focused on music as well. Um, again, I consider this the entertainment section. Here you have the work chair. It is a gamer chair. I'm not a gamer but I really enjoy the relaxation of this chair that it offers. As you can see, we get a little lean action here. And this chair is really utilized when I have company over. Uh, specifically, my dad falls asleep in this chair very often. Uh, leans it back, throw him a blanket in. He's off into La La Land. Uh, here, uh, you have here, this is a poster, concert, per, concert poster I got from Stax Museum in Memphis, Tennessee. So while I was out there visiting, me and my family took a visit to Stax. If, I, if you're ever there, I highly recommend going to visit there. If you're into music, a lot of musical history of the blues, soul, some of your favorite artists. So I was able to pick up this cool poster that just kind of went with the media entertainment space feel that I wanted. Um, if you come over here, you have just the media stand. Uh, I have a couple of coffee table books here for people to grab and look through beautiful art, uh, beautiful photography. And here I have another diffuser by Virtuvi. This is a water-based uh, diffuser, so I use this more for just scenting the home. Uh, what we also have here, uh, a little poster my mom got me, they're vinyl record players. And I actually have a vinyl player, vinyl record player by Techniques. I think it's about 1970s, 1980s uh, vinyl player that my dad refurbished and got to me. Uh, he started me with my record collection and from there, I kind of been doing my own thing. And underneath you have the receiver, a uh, tic-tac-toe game for company when they're over. And more of, we have plants here. I uh, have a few plants throughout the home. Um, I don't have a green thumb, so all of my plants are very low maintenance. They don't need a lot of sun, not a lot of water, so you'll see that throughout the home. Uh, here, more records. I have some records here. Here I have this uh, standing mirror that I got from Ross or TJ Maxx. And over here, we have a, another seating area. I did this to kind of create a more comfortable feel. I used to have, I think I had stools here before, but I wanted to go with a more cozy feel for when the friends and family are over. Uh, right here you have uh, a print from Christina Martinez. This is called Movement. Uh, she's a Seattle-based artist, so I purchased this while living in Seattle, brought it with me, and um, love the colors, love the face and the diversity in the faces and the colors in this uh, picture. So. Also got that frame by the same person I got framed, uh, had the James Brown poster frame. So if you're in Decatur, Georgia, I'll make sure to link that as well. Uh, more storage for my vinyl players under here. 
So uh, the record collection is growing. And here you have the couch. Uh, this is my article, just a pebble gray comfortable couch. Uh, I actually wanted the lounge, like the L-shaped couch, L -shaped couch. However, this is a studio space, so it's pretty small. So I just went with the three-seater couch, but sits very comfortable. I fall asleep on this multiple times if I'm watching a movie or just relaxing. Uh, as I mentioned, plants, uh, they really bring a lot of life to the home. Uh, this is Dashlin, she's a mass cane. Uh, she's pretty new, so I'm still learning how to take care of her, but so far she's surviving. And um, as you can see, lots of window space. I actually picked, picked this unit because I knew I wanted plants and I knew I wanted natural sunlight. So this gives you a lot of that, that window space. All right, guys, let's take a look at the patio. This is still in the making. So what we do have here is actually really cold today in Atlanta, but uh, the cater. So what you have here above, I decided to stream the lights here just to give that warm candlelight feel. I'm a fan of that, as I mentioned earlier. And over here, we have a little two-seater um, chairs over here. Well, this is all probably from Brawls or TJ Maxx. Again, I haven't put a lot of focus here because sitting out here, if it's not cold, then it's mosquito infested. So I'm typically only out here in fall or spring, and even then, it's kind of rough. You know, the mosquitoes are no joke out here, but I did create some seating for moments that I can actually come out here and enjoy. Oh, uh, one other thing I want to show you guys that I forgot to show you is my beautiful blankets made by my mother. So she crochets, I have a lot of blankets. So a lot of them are in storage, but uh, this is a couch robe that she made for me. So I really enjoy her work. I'll make sure to share some of that on my channel. If you guys are interested in custom made, interested in custom made blankets, gifts for newborns, or people you enjoy in your life, make sure uh, you follow me for when I do actually speak about these beautiful blankets. Here I have my fiddle leaf plant. Uh, this is my second fiddle leaf plant. I gave my first one that I nurtured back to life to my dad and end up getting another one. Again, I really like to see this cycle of plants uh, grow. I think it's something really uh, meaningful and watching that happen. So you, I'm a, a huge fan of plants. You'll see them throughout the, the home. Uh, here, which was meant to be my grocery list, uh, this actually turned into the I was here uh, post. So I decided to keep that. It brought a lot of characters, uh, character to my home, and it brings me joy to see the messages left by my friends and family. Uh, you also have a couple of pictures of my grandfather. Rest in peace, Mr. Jesse. Uh, I keep a picture of him close. He means a whole lot to me. Family in general means a lot to me, but he was a huge part of my childhood, so I keep him near. Also have my nephew, Kristen, here. All right, so yeah, you have the double uh, door stainless steel fridge. Comes with the apartment, of course. Uh, we have, hopefully it's organized. It's organized enough. Um, so again, you have the double doors. I keep menus here for when friends or family are over. Uh, they get a little hungry and I have nothing to offer. We have a couple of menus here. More art by my nephew, Shylan. And yeah, let's get a little more into the kitchen. Uh, if you look over here, uh, again, this is an open concept floor plan. So you have the kitchen and the living room in the same space. Uh, I think this is called a farm style sink. So just no division here. And so I had to create that by getting a little uh, caddy for my dishes. You also have the dishwasher here. I keep um, all of my cooking and cocktail books here. So uh, I also think it creates a nice little cute decor to have them there as well. I have my aloe vera plant here, some pasta, and above, as you can see, I have the bar. Um, this is where it goes down when friends and families are over. Uh, if you are interested in learning how to make drinks or hosting and making cocktails for uh, visitors, companies, date, uh, check out the other videos on my page. I show you how to do some do-it-yourself cocktails. Um, several cutting boards here uh, so that I can really you know, throw down in the kitchen. And I have my Keurig here, which I'm actually in the market for something new. Um, I'm not a huge fan of this particular style of Keurig because it's a single pour, 
not a fan of having to pour water each time I need it. I, I would prefer something with a, a, a water uh, reservoir already attached. Uh, so here, if we look underneath this cabinet, what I have here is the trash cleaning supplies, but I also have another bar area. This is my wine fridge where I keep a few bottles of wine. This is by Cuisine Art. I've had that for some time now, but uh, I didn't have a place for it above, so I made use underneath the cabinet. And if you look over here, we have the microwave, the kitchen uh, stove top, which is all stainless steel. Uh, more storage uh, where I keep my seasonings and dishes and pots and pans, everything that you need to make a great meal. And over here too, you have the pop style table. So I decided to get the pop style table. I originally wanted to build my own island just to kind of create some separation, but I didn't have the space, I didn't have the tools to get that done, so I decided to just find a pub style table that was uh, nicely aligned with the rest of the, the floor plan. And I got this from Wayfair, it's about 40 inches tall. And the chairs came from All Modern, they're about 30 inches tall. And so I enjoy it, it's very simple, enough for me and a couple of other people or one other guest, and we just make use of the space and break bread. Uh, here, you have the painting I'm working on. So this is my latest painting that I'm working on. I don't like to call myself an artist because I take forever to finish a painting. So this will be my first painting since the ones that I showed you earlier. Uh, this will be another portrait of a very, very close family member of mine. Another intimate style painting uh, that shows lots of just facial expression and skin. So I'm a big fan of work like that. Guys, this is where it ends. Thank you again for joining me on my apartment tour. Make sure you check out the other videos for other apartment living, uh, tech reviews for your apartment, and cocktail making uh, videos. But thank you again for joining me. See you guys later.